Welcome to day three of your 60 days to CCNA challenge. Today is quite a tough day actually. You've got to review yesterday's lessons notes which shouldn't be too much of an onerous task because days one and two are really an introduction and hopefully reminding you a lot of a lot of stuff you've already read if you've studied for the Network Plus. So today we're looking at trunking. You need to understand the theory and the configuration commands behind configuring trunks on a Cisco 2960 switch, different encapsulation types and uh, what actually happens when you configure trunking. You need to understand DTP, Dynamic Trunking Protocol. Now this is one of the subjects that actually fell down from the CCMP switch. So it, it's really made the CCNA exam a lot tougher. A, because there's more stuff in it and B, because the stuff they've added to it is actually fairly complicated because if you consider it was a CCMP level subject before. Now a lot of stuff that has dropped for the CCMP isn't in as much detail as you de as you need to know for the CCMP but you still need to know um, you still need to know it in enough detail to answer the CCNA level questions so it's pretty tough. You also need to understand what inter VLAN routing is and what your three options are when you're asked to configure it and you could be asked to configure it for the CCNA exam or you may be given a question where you have to look at a configuration or a diagram and come up with an answer as to why it isn't working and what to do to fix it. Uh, I should have removed that one sorry that's uh, from yesterday. So let's quit out of this I just want to show you what you should be doing today. Obviously read yesterday's lesson known as you just said Here's uh, the subjects I asked you to look at on the slides. Here's how it maps to the CCNA syllabus. So understanding configuring trunk links, how you trunk between a switch and a, a router as well, make them up, but how you find out the encapsulation types with the show commands. Static trunk configuration, so putting in encapsulation type. You don't need to worry about encapsulation on the 2960 because you can only use one type. However, in my guide, I do like to explain how to do it on more uh, higher level models of switches because this is what you're going to have to do in the real world. So it's a shame to come and go through the CCNA and not understand how to apply what you're learning. Dynamic trunking protocol. What are the options for this and what configurations will result in a trunk being established? I'm pretty sure if you get asked a question on DTP, it will be this type of question what does and what doesn't establish a, a trunk link. Inter VLAN routing, how it works with a, a layer 3 switch and a router. Switch virtual interfaces. Uh, VLAN trunking protocol also, understand how this works and what's the difference between a VTP server, client and transparent mode. BTP pruning you need to understand about. I've also added some more basic VLAN troubleshooting and the troubleshooting questions. I've actually got an entire chapter on uh, layer two troubleshooting, but I've just sort of introduced it here in the book. So make sure you do some exam questions on this as well, so you understand if it's actually sunk in. And then what I need you to do is configure a VLAN and trunking lab using whichever study guide you've got at the moment. So that's all for today. That should keep you pretty busy for two hours.